Hey folks, Wausau Siete. So, got a little bit of time here. Not much, but a little bit. I thought I'd, I'd do something with this piece of Navaculite. <coughs> this piece has got, you know, it's got a razor edge along here. So you can see that we're gonna lose some of this edge, obviously. We'll have to lose some of the width. Ooh, that's not good material right there either. Definitely not. We'll see what what we got when we get this reduced down here a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on these boppers a little bit here. They actually all need that. <clears throat> if your bopper is super rough and has a little point sticking up, it starts to crush the edge before the flake can initiate. That's what that's all about. This was an end cut, so I'm going to turn you off for a second. Okay. That should help a little bit. We're going to make this a tip up here. Well, we have this layer in here, so I'm not... And this <coughs> material right here is no good. like a hard cortex material. I'm not sure how deep that layer goes in there. Looks like that's about it. This is still that same Not quite an evacuate material.
looks like we're past it now. something right there that was going to happen in that crack down there. I didn't know if I was going to be able to sneak around it or not. So as this material does become available, um, it will be announced here first. And uh, I will let you all know in a video. Um, and I will leave it like that for several days before I post anything on Facebook to give you guys, uh, the viewers, first shot at anything and then that'll be a regular thing on with this channel is um, selling materials and things like that the viewers will get the first shot at it whether or not they buy any or not which a lot of you do. I recognize the names when the orders come in.
trying to save some width and not turn it too too much, but that just isn't gonna happen. I'm making a mess by not turning the edge enough. Trying to get away with things the stone just doesn't want me to get away with. All right, let's go to some indirect. Well, hell, I hope I was in frame. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if I was even in frame for all that. In case I wasn't, we'll start over right here. Wausau Siete. <laughs> I may not have been in frame for that. In okay, case some of you uh, didn't know, I started sponsoring uh, Crafty with some tools. And uh, I sent him some rock. And uh, he uses indirect sticks a little bit different. He preloads it with upward like this. Um, and I do more of an inward, I guess, is the difference. I'm pressed, giving a lot of inward pressure. And I got the wrong pants on for this. I got the pants on that are slippery as could be. Sounds like my wife's home, which means I'm going to start mowing the yard. She's picking me up a battery for my mower. And other stuff for Sunday dinner. got an open door policy on Sunday anyone who wants to come over and have dinner is welcome all the family comes over she's hollering at me tell me here's your battery get to mowing <laughs> she didn't say that but I think that's what she might have meant Feed this dude long hair a little bit, maybe. Or 
break it one or the other. way too much. But it did go a long way to thinning it. This is a number four rod. If you're having any problems getting flakes to come off, Or you think they should be coming off better than that? A little more inward pressure, and you can try stepping up a size. Yeah, send in a set of stacks right there. I'm not sure why I did that, but I did. Got in a hurry because I knew I had to go mow and got her out of whack. Um, let's address that big stack first. Try and turn that stack into a molehill. significantly yep. that helps significantly
Okay. Problem with making such a mess is you got to clean it up. Yeah, I got to get that big old hump off there too. I guess I got... This big hump right here needs to come off. That side's pretty good looking, I think. That side, if we can get it cleaned off, it ain't gonna be bad. But, I gotta clear some off this side. Pressure flakes are running in pretty good on it. I could sharpen this thing and it go in even better. But uh yeah, okay. Wonder if I can get those off there now. It's about at center. It's not nearly below center, but I 
I almost feel like I can run a pressure flake across it, but I'm going to try and do some indirect here. I'm going to go ahead and use number four. Come on now, ain't nothing happening. There we go, that got a little bit up there. So did that one. And that one. And that one. Should be able to take one right in there. There she goes. She gone. Threw the abrader away. All right, we're gonna call it good there. I'm gonna actually, I'm probably gonna piece these together. When I get a chance, I'll come back and finish this one and uh, do something with it. Just clean up the edges and and I think I'm going to make a Dalton out of it. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a Dalton out of this. All right. Appreciate y'all. Well, actually, no. We're going to come back and I'm going to piece these together. So I do appreciate y'all watching, but uh, I'll be back for this. Okay, I'm back from mowing. The problem with breaking these videos up like this is that uh, I got no idea what I said in the last part. <laughs> yeah, I got no idea what I talked about and didn't talk about and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I did just remember, I don't remember if I was in frame on that first part of this video. I think I might have changed my mind on the point style that I'm going to make also. I don't know that for sure. i got to change glasses because, again, I can't see nothing. My next trip to the store, I'm getting some more glasses. Some stronger ones. These ones help some, but... hinges I think because I didn't have the platform strong enough be my guess so it lost uh, Lost some strength going in there. Some power. Thank you. 
And I looked at that and thought I should have braided that and then didn't do it. some of that. finer abrader out here. Let's see. My floor in here is absolutely covered in dying June bugs. There's literally thousands of them. When I had chickens, June bugs would get underneath the big yard lights by the gazillion. And then chickens would, first thing in the morning, that's exactly where they headed. And they'd clean all them June bugs up. And uh, they sure liked them. And it was free chicken feed, so I didn't mind them so much. But now they're in everything. All my trays are full of June bugs. Everything in here is full of June bugs. But I got a door there that's wide open. That's not something that's closed in yet. thinking about my insulating options which there's not a bunch of them but, uh, they want three grand to put spray foam in here it seems like a lot I don't know if we talked about Crafty and the Mukadi uh, nap last night or not. Um, but I sent them. It was almost weird to see him use a, a copper and direct stick. <laughs>
this side is uh, leaves a lot to be desired. And bit my nail. How about if we sharpen this one? This side's just crunchier than the other side. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get those off. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I've only got a little bit here. Everyone's coming over for Sunday dinner and I gotta get in and get a shower and I am filthy. I got to go through my bees here pretty soon. Um, I used to pride myself on how good I took care of my bees. I'm a relatively new beekeeper. I've only been doing it a few years, but I was pretty proud about how I took care of my bees. And uh, they do require, because uh, how many bees have this mite? row of mite and they can wreak havoc on your bees or a parasite that feeds on them while they're alive and uh, then you've got hive beetles and you've got uh, wax moss and all the rest of that stuff I got one hive that I know is dead um, it's a dead out I'm sure it's an absolute disaster in there, but I haven't been able to get into my bees for quite some time because uh, because of my back, and uh, it's a lot of bending over. And those those uh, boxes, you know, they can weigh I don't know 60, 70 pounds probably, something like that. They get heavy when they're full of full of honey and nectar and brood and all that stuff. I mean, they're pretty heavy. So anyways, I haven't been able to take care of my bees the way that they should be taken care of. And uh, I have one that is either, I think is, well, it may swarm today or it's fixing to swarm. And what happens is, is uh, when there's something wrong in the hive or the hive in like in springtime, like now starts getting overpopulated, um, the queen takes off and splits with half or two-thirds of the hive usually leaves behind some brood and some bees to take care of things and they go off and they start them and self a new 
a new uh, before they leave they usually uh, unless, they're, unless they're abandoning the hive I guess they uh, they make some new queen cells so that they can make a new queen for the bees that are left behind but anyways that's how bees spread and and multiply and stuff like that now you can control that swarming by splitting the bees yourself so you either split them or they're going to split their cell for you one or the other and uh, anyhow I uh, haven't been able to do anything with them and uh, let's see what am I going to do here But I need to go through at least that one or two of them, something like that. I really need to be, build some more. Well, maybe I don't. Depends on, I won't know until I get into them, but I'm going to try and get someone to film me so I can show some of that because uh, originally bees were supposed to be part of this channel and uh, I have not done a very good job of that because shortly after I started the channel, then I had back surgery. So, like almost immediately after. So anyways, I've got to do something with that. Um, Ooh, I almost got it. Got most of it. Yeah. Got a good piece of it. chunk of it there and I'm gonna leave it alone now I'm not gonna mess with that anymore although I do need I could take some more pressure flakes with that issue stick along there
I got the question again why I work so many slabs. And I'm going to do a video. I'll release it probably after this one. And give you a visual aid <laughs> of why I work so many slabs. Those of you that's been around a long time, you already know why. But <laughs> Everyone wants to work big stuff, or a lot of people do. And, uh, I just can get way more big bifaces by slabbing. Do I like to work slabs more than bifaces or bi spalls? No, I don't. I actually enjoy working both. But I also have to think about uh, maximizing what I can get out of the rock because you go buy 2,000 pounds of rock, you're not going to have 2,000 pounds of usable stuff, right? It's only a percentage of that stuff. Just trying to do the most I can to get the maximum benefit out of my investment. Really look forward to everyone coming over this evening. Actually, they're going to be here for too long. may not seem like it, but I am actually trying to hurry this thing along, <laughs> which usually doesn't bode well for the end, end result, but...
I think I put my notches in my did this a little bit high but Yeah, I did. I put them in way too high. Okay. Breaking the doggone barbs off. Busted it again. Yeah. 
made a mess out of that is what I did. Yeah, I got this part too narrow. Doggone it, I busted it off again.
I just keep breaking that off there. It's the problem. over and over and over again. Hey folks, unfortunately I lost the last bit of the picking uh, of this video. Um, all you really missed is picking at the edges and uh, and uh, I ran some indirect strikes. There was a deep, there was a deep flake along here and I ran some flakes into it and uh, thinned it down quite a bit. It's hard to see there, but thinned her down quite a bit and uh she's actually pretty thin but uh anyways um sorry about that here's what we were going for we're gonna make a uh Montley. and uh i think we i think we got it pretty close and uh she's pretty nice nice and sharp this side was a little bit more crunchy but uh still worked out pretty good i was having a hard time seeing on that black um i'm gonna get me some stronger readers uh I'll be doing that here in a couple days or actually today i'm going to town today i got to pick some stuff up and then go to the physical therapy so i'll get that today so anyhow i appreciate y'all watching sorry i missed the all you really missed is the picking around the edges and, and a few indirect strikes which evened all this out which i wish you could have seen that because that did make a big difference because it had just a big dipping flake across here and i was running some flakes in to meet that and uh well in the process of doing that i just went ahead and thinned the whole thing uh quite a bit so anyhow i appreciate y'all if y'all stuck around this long and uh, hit that like subscribe button if you don't mind and uh, we'll catch you on the next one keep napping